This is Remy Militello, and these are 22 more original two-sentence horror stories. Before we begin, I just would like to ask anyone listening to this if they would like to write their own two-sentence horror stories and leave them in the comments. I'm trying to put together a video with all of my commenters' uh, own two-sentence horror stories that I would like to read uh, on air. Um... It would mean a lot to me if you put your own down there, and I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, with that in mind, let's begin. Eric was certain he saw something in the darkness stare back at him. The eyes in the blackness blinked. Eric ran away screaming. The thing in the shadows loved to play this game. I bought a new kind of plant. It's amazingly beautiful. But it's begun to wilt. I despaired when I thought it was dying. But it turns out it just needed some blood. And my neighbor had plenty. Susan thought he had such a beautiful bone structure. Especially without all that nasty skin getting in the way. The exterminator swallowed hard when he found the floor was covered in web as thick as cotton candy. And even stickier. Something dripped on his shoulder. When he looked up, he screamed. Raul had always dreamed of being a family man, but his wife Julia couldn't conceive. So, they decided to abduct instead. My kids came into our room excited as could be, yelling that they could hear Santa coming down the chimney. I told them to get in their rooms and to call the police. Christmas was two weeks ago. I used to love fishing. I was particularly good at it. It's all about using the right bait. But I stopped leaving dry land after a tentacle came out of the water, waving a golden necklace at me. I'm starting to think my daughter's imaginary friend isn't so imaginary. I told her it could ride in the back seat with her, and I could feel something breathing on my neck the entire drive. Her right eye was always so itchy. The more she scratched, the more it itched. Finally, she looked into the mirror. She began to scream when the worms in her cornea flaxed. Hunter had been growing a beer belly all semester. His frat bros dared him to take a pregnancy test as a joke. It was funny, until it read positive. I think my neighbor is a vampire. She brings a new man home every night, but they never leave in the morning. Last night, she knocked on my door and wanted to know if I wanted to get drinks. At first, I thought they were spiders, but I know spiders don't have so many legs or so many eyes, and they definitely don't whisper to each other. My roommate is definitely a lizard person. I don't have any proof, but I'm positive. Tonight, I'm going to tie him up and not let him go until he admits it. Don't worry, I have nothing but time. I never would have guessed zombies would be real, and that shooting them in the head doesn't work. You have to cut them up and boil them into soup. Otherwise, they just pull themselves back together. But if we spice it right, the soup isn't half bad. I made a deal with the demon for my love and I to live together into eternity. Now that we are rotting away to living bones, I wish I had been more specific on forever. At first, I was excited to see the Loch Ness Monster. It was a dream come true. I snapped picture after picture. But when it started to swim toward us, I could see its great mighty jaws open. Chloe was so excited to be pregnant. She had always wanted to be a mom. That was until the first ultrasound, and she saw all of the little tentacles on screen. I was told to write what you know, and I've always wanted to write horror. 
but I'm regretting kidnapping this family. They are so hard to work with. But I've learned a lot for the sequel. My shadow is starting to scare me. Even in the light, it never leaves me. It's getting bigger. It's been whispering to me at night. And I think it's hungry. I lay here in the basement with my back broken, the bar pincering me to the floor. My brothers fell into the same trap, but I thought I was smarter, and I wanted the accursed cheese. Every day, it gets a little warmer, and I can feel myself dying. The sun, the heat, it's killing me. My carrot nose fell off yesterday. Soon, there will be nothing left. There is something wrong with my Christmas tree. It puffs in and out like it's breathing. Now my dog is missing, and I found his collar and its bloody branches. Thank you for joining me for 22 more two-sentence horror stories. Please leave your own in the comments, and please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time, stay safe out there, and stay spooky.